student is expected to face charges over an incident with a bus driver that sent the driver to the hospital. And tonight we're hearing from the teenager's family. Justice Henderson joins us live outside the sheriff's office with what they're saying about the case. Justice. Well, Jim, the family is still standing by their story tonight that the bus driver initiated the confrontation that took place earlier this week. The attorney says that he thinks this is nothing more than a 15 year old boy defending himself. The fight that took place on the bus is still being investigated by the sheriff's department, but what took place inside of Palmetto, Palmetto Elementary School also has conflicting stories. The family claims that excessive force was used by the deputy who detained the student and the student never resisted. The sheriff has reviewed the body cam video and says on that, he stands by the deputy. The deputy approached the student in the classroom, gave him three verbal commands to place his hands behind his back, but the deputy was met with verbal and physical resistance. The deputy had to physically restrain the student. For excessive force of a minor where his life was not threatened, and the commands that he was given to this minor were being carried out. This should not happen on school grounds. The attorney tells me that as far as he knows, there was never any prior confrontation between the bus driver and the student. But the attorney also says that the family does plan to take legal action against the school board. Now, the bus driver remains in the hospital tonight. He is expected to be okay. Superintendent Patrick Jenkins also says that they do have to follow procedures, but it does look like the student will be recommended for expulsion. In St. Landry Parish, Justice Henderson, KTC TV3.